Okay, so Bitcoin a couple of hours ago got a successful swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab above our previous high at 30,500 US dollars. And it really looks like on the wick towards the upside, on the push towards the upside, it looks like approximately 10 million of short positions came directly into the market. We got the open interest decrease right here. And on top of that, remember what we were saying yesterday. If the rejection is going to happen on the volume increase, we could potentially be looking to go with a brand new short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price. Now, personally, right now, I am already holding a brand new short or a sell position for approximately 30,200 US dollars. But to be honest, I do not really have very high hopes for this specific short short position to actually play out. Now, in the upcoming hours, actually at 8.30 a.m. EST time, we are going to see CPI data release, which means we are going to get brand new numbers for the inflation. And a closely watched government measure of inflation is expected to show that price increases cooled further last month. March Consumer Price Index, or CPI, slated for release Wednesday, is expected to come in at 5.2%, a slowdown from February's 6% gain, according to estimates from Bloomberg. The number would mark the slowest annual increase in consumer prices since May 2021, but would still be significantly above the Federal Reserve's 2% target. Now, I do have some very interesting information of what Goldman Sachs thinks it's going to happen with the price of the stock market, more importantly the S&P 500, if this specific prediction of 5.2% right here is going to come into play. And it looks like that they expect that the S&P 500 is going to move towards the downside by approximately 1 or maybe even 2%. Of course, if the stock market is going to move towards the downside in the upcoming hours, Bitcoin price is definitely going to follow. And in this case, most probably, we are going to see that our weekly high term time frame support level right here is going to be lost towards downside. As we said yesterday, if our weekly level right here does see a push towards downside and the break, we don't really have any major support areas below us right here. And we could be looking for maybe even a bigger drop towards the area of 28,500 US dollars. But right now, let me share with you something very, very important, which in my opinion, not a lot of people even talk about and it's going to be on a higher term time frame let's say maybe even on the weekly time frame let's remove our high term time frame levels from the chart and let's focus on the price action that has been forming on bitcoin for the past couple of months right here i think we can all agree it looks like bitcoin actually finished the five wave structure towards downside and right now we are seeing a very nice bounce from approximately 15,500 us dollars area and approximately 100 percent increase in the prices but this is the thing right in my opinion we definitely do have some more room to go even lower towards downside because the entire push towards the upset can only be a part of a bigger correction what do i have in mind we need to talk about a potential abc correction that is right now being formed on bitcoin that being said we could say that right now bitcoin is potentially finishing its a wave right here we could be expecting then the b wave another push towards the upside and another collapse and of course another lower low to be formed maybe even in the upcoming months and that is why in my opinion Bitcoin is right now still moving in some kind of a correction. Now, there is also another theory which is right now saying to us that potentially our ABC correction is coming to an end. That being said, we are potentially topping out maybe even in the upcoming days or maybe we already topped out simply because when we got a push towards the downside for our B wave right here, it looks like we bounced very, very closely towards our 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level. So we are going to go from our swing low right here back to our swing high. It looks like we came very very, very close towards 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, which could mean that this entire push towards the upside was actually a three wave move towards the upside, which means we are potentially finishing our C Elliott wave in the upcoming days, or potentially it's already going to be finished before Bitcoin could head even lower towards the upside, taking out the 15,500 US dollars. Now, of course, personally, I am not guessing if the top on Bitcoin is right now actually in. All we know right now is that we are trading at a 
significant level of resistance. But as we already said yesterday, we need to see some kind of a sign of weakness, market structure change, or maybe even the trend change with our exponential moving averages for us to actually say, okay, Bitcoin's temporary top is in and we can be looking for lower targets on the Bitcoin price. Now, before we go into the immediate short term at this specific area, if you would like to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with us and maybe even enter a brand new short or a sell position or maybe even a long position of Bitcoin, make sure you do take advantage of the 30,000 US dollars free training bonus with the first link down below in the description after initial deposit. But let's go right now and talk about what has been happening for the past couple of hours above our weekly high term time frame level of support right here. We are first of all going to drop a little bit lower on the 30 minute time frame, connecting our previous highs with a horizontal level, expanding this one slightly lower. And I think we can all agree. It looks like Bitcoin for the past couple of hours has been moving in some kind of a horizontal range. The reality is we pushed into the range with a pump right here. So because of that, theoretically, we do have a higher probability of also, of course, breaking our horizontal range towards the upside. Now, in terms of technicals, yes, we are forming a bullish divergence on our CVD indicator. Bitcoin for the past couple of hours is still forming a slightly higher low right here, while the CVD indicator is forming a lower low, which means that the selling price pressure is coming into the market literally right now as we speak, but it's not able to form another lower low on the Bitcoin price. Bullish divergence, absorption is happening right now, bullish indication, and of course, in terms of technicals right here, it is going to be a bullish Bitcoin indication. But if we right now look on the other hand, Goldman Sachs expects that if we are going to see the 5.2% CPI data for the March, it could mean that the S&P 500 is going to move towards downside for approximately one or maybe even 2%. That is why in the upcoming hours, if you're right now not already holding a brand new short or a sell position, or maybe if you are not already holding a long position of Bitcoin, personally, I would avoid trading. That being said, I would not go with a short right here. And of course, also personally, I would not go with a brand new long or a buy position in the upcoming hours until the CPI data is actually going to come out in the upcoming hours. Now, there is a very nice local support level slightly below our horizontal range. And you're going to see our R2 weekly pivot point, 29,700 US dollars, is going to land exactly below our horizontal range, where of course we also do have our previous lows, which right now means people that are holding a long or a buy position most probably have stop losses below the previous lows right here, which could mean let's stop them out, hit our weekly pivot point right here, and only then potentially do see another rotation towards the top of our horizontal range. But again, this level right here is only some kind of a local support level, and I would be extremely careful trading it in the upcoming hours until once again, the CPI data is actually going to be released. Now, going with the S&P 500, it looks like that, yes, we are, of course, seeing almost a perfect rejection from a very important level of resistance, our daily high term time frame level right here. And for the past couple of days, we have simply seen some kind of a horizontal range to be formed at this specific area below our daily high term time frame level. A very similar thing is also happening on the US 100. We are seeing a rejection from the daily. And of course, also some kind of a horizontal range is being formed for the past couple of days. On the other hand, our dollar currency index chart is showing to us we are trading at a support level and there was a very nice reaction towards the upside from the monthly high term time frame level of support. So in terms of the dollar currency index or maybe even the stock market right here, we cannot really talk about a high probability if we are going to move towards the upside or if we are going to move towards downside. Technicals, in my opinion, are still looking bullish. However, some predictions and of course also the prediction from the Goldman Sachs right here is saying to us we could be expecting a push towards downside. But I would still say if you were able yesterday to go with a brand new short or a sell position at this specific area, or maybe even if you're right now still holding a long or a buying position from lower, I would say you are right now in a very nice place. We do not need to guess right now if we are going to move towards the upside or potentially if Bitcoin is going to see a collapse towards downside. We are prepared with our longs. We are prepared with our shorts. If we are going to go up, we are going to make money with a long. If we are going to go down, we are going to make money with our short position. But again, if you're right now a beginner, trader, wait for the news to come out and only then potentially enter a brand new long or maybe even a brand new short position. But nevertheless, looking right now at the overall picture, as we actually said before, it could mean that Bitcoin is right now going to see some kind of a temporary top, maybe even at this specific area where we are trading at the moment, maybe also, of course, slightly higher at 32,000 US dollars. Why so? Because if you go on the weekly time frame using the logarithmic chart, it looks like that our 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, which is a very important price target, is going to land at 32,680 US dollars. So I would say 0.5 very important price target when we are right now 
talking about this massive correction that is right now it looks like still taking place on the bitcoin price and in the upcoming hours we should definitely pay very close attention to what news are going to come out because it's definitely going to affect bitcoin if potentially this could be a temporary top and we are going to lose the bottom of the range right here or if we are actually going to hit our next important price target at 32,000 us dollars but thank you very much if you right now actually smash the like button and of course if you want you could take advantage of the insane free bonus available with the first link down below in the description peace out